Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Elk Calls here ahead of the series finale between the Elks and the Apple Sox. Elks trying to avoid the sweep here with Gus Rogers. Had a solid outing last night, retired six of the seven batters you faced. I know you saw limited action at Oregon this year, so how did it feel to just come back out here and throw? Oh, it felt awesome, Blake. I mean, just having you around me, it just gives me that confidence to go out there and shove. So I couldn't thank you more for your constant encouragement in me, and it really drives my game to the next level. Well, I appreciate the compliment. Um, but playing at Oregon, now being be here with some of your teammates like Bennett, just how has that been? for? I know you've only been here for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Like, playing with Bennett, love that kid. Uh, great competitor, great leader. And then Maddox, too, who I've played with in the past, he's going to Oregon as well. So it's good to see the growth in those guys and see them bring their competitive spirit to summer ball, too, where some guys just take it easy. So... That's my favorite part about it. Exactly. You played at Lake Oswego High School. So did you have Lake a match? Did, oh, Lake Ridge. Don't Lake Ridge. Lake Oswego. <laughs> Lake Oswego. My bad. My bad. Lake Ridge High School. Got it mixed up. Yeah. But you played Maddox in high school? No, I played him. Uh, I played with him in summer ball. Oh, summer yeah, ball. we were teammates. Okay, where was that? For Gunderson Baseball. Shout out Gundy. <laughs> okay, not Lake Oswego. Lake Ridge yes. High School. Um, but how has that been? What would advice would you give to Maddox going into his freshman year of college? Uh, I mean, he's honestly been working on it really well, but I'd just say go in there with confidence. Uh, confidence is the best thing you can have as an athlete, as a competitor. Just knowing that you're going to get the job done no matter what, not being afraid of failure. I think that's the biggest thing I took away this year at Oregon, and I'm grateful for it. It was a great experience. Yeah, I know. Something stuck with me yesterday that Trey Nelson said. It said, you learn a lot from watching baseball, not only just playing baseball. So what would you say are some of the biggest lessons you took away from your first year? Uh, I mean, biggest lessons I took away is something I just said, like not being afraid to fail. For example, like Matt Dallas, no matter what the situation was that night, no matter what he had to do in order to win, he was going to do whatever he could to win. And if he failed, then so what? On to the next one. Absolutely. And playing at Lake Ridge High School in a competitive 6A environment in Oregon, what was that like? It was awesome. I mean, I love all those guys to death. Uh, I think the coolest part was just knowing you're surrounded by such great players. So trying to beat everyone else out, trying to show you're better than the next guy to the guy next to you. It was so much fun, and I'd, I'd do anything to play with, with those guys again. I know you've kind of only switched over to the arm in college. I know you had to give up your bat, which was pretty good in high school. How, how difficult was that to give that up? It really hurt, to be honest. <laughs> uh, now we're able to just take swings as a PO and try to lift balls and elevate and celebrate is what I say. So I'm glad I can do that now rather than having to focus on what my swing's doing and how my golf game will be affected from that. Do you like golf? I love golf. You good at it at all? I'm all right. Every now and then I'll play like, like on the range, for example, I swear I'm like Tiger on Sundays. <laughs> but once I go out there on the real course, it's a whole nother ball game. There you go, range versus course, it's a whole different game. Well, thanks so much to Gus Rogers, our pregame show guest here today as the Elks take on the Apple Sox tonight at 635. Go Elks. <laughs>